um, proxies. So the proxy layer definitely can help you, um, especially if we are talking about MaxScale and uh, Proxy SQL, uh, which are the database aware proxies. Uh, what is nice with them is that they, you know, they detect the changes in your topology. So if host node is down, um, the traffic will be routed to something, somewhere else, uh, something somewhere else, like a different node. Um, if you uh, perform a switchover, then the, 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 they will detect where is the master and so on and so forth. Um, as I said, MaxScale can help you also call by collecting uh, um, the queries. So, um, so it kind of can be used to, to, to grab some data. Um, Proxy SQL will be able, uh, be, uh, once this feature becomes a production ready, will be able uh, to basically mirror the traffic, the production traffic to, uh, to one of the upgraded hosts, for example, and as such, Basically, you'll be able to, to, to see the uh, production traffic on your new 5.7 host. Um, both of those uh, proxies, but also AJ proxy, um, can help you in, during this warm-up period of time. Uh, so you can use, set the weights for a different, uh, different weights for different nodes and make sure that the new upgraded node is not getting the full load, just a fraction of it. Um, Proxy SQL also can help you uh, to perform a graceful switchover when combined with uh, external tools like MySQL RPO Admin, MHJ, or Orchestra Control. So basically you can run a graceful switchover without any errors whatsoever hitting the application. No rollbacks, no errors. It's just a trans. You know, there's there, there's no notion on the application side that uh, something happened. Everything is transparent. Um, MySQL API admin and MAJ, um, especially MAJ, is uh, just you know it's a topic for a webinar on its own. Uh, but um, but those tools can help you running at switchovers, among others, of course. Uh, but in this context, uh, I would focus on this one. So instead of making changes manually, which could be more and more or less, you know, error prone, uh, but also which would take longer, um, you can you can uh, automate it. And those tools can can work with Proxy SQL, uh, as I said a uh, slide earlier, for uh, for this graceful switchover. And of course, Cluster Control. Cluster Control can help you. Provisioning, to provision new uh, new slaves, new nodes. Uh, it also can help you to um, to perform switchover. Um, what it does, I mean, the question control is of course also the monitoring and trending system. So it gives you information about the application status, whether everything is fine or not, whether the new, I mean, the upgraded nodes are lagging or not. It gives you information about load on the system, so you can compare uh, if this new node is, you know, uh, handling the traffic properly or not. So obviously, a lot of information and um, this kind of management um, uh, overview of, uh, of your particular of your environment during the upgrade process. And um, if you'd like to take a look at different, you know, uh, different aspects of uh, MySQL operations, but also uh, uh, about the um, upgrades, maybe not MySQL 5.7, but different upgrade processes, also for Gardera clusters, uh, you can uh, you can check out blogs on uh, on the several lines.com uh, webpage. Also, uh, uh, soon we'll make available an ebook focused on um, upgrade process to MySQL 5.7, which will be much more detailed and will cover much more details that we, you know, we just couldn't fit within this one hour, which is coming to a close. Um, and of course, uh, we will be at Spoken Live in April. So uh, if you if you'll be there, just 
we would like to. Uh, it would be nice if you just come and say hello to us. And uh, back to you, JJ, because I think it's another poll. Yeah, uh, thanks a lot, Christoph. And uh, just before we um, we answer a couple of questions that have been asked um, already, and feel free to ask more questions in the question section of your control panel. I just wanted to ask all of you uh, one last question from our side. And this is whether you have any plans to upgrade your MySQL infrastructure uh, at the moment, you know, whether it's in the near future or may maybe there's long-term plans to do so, uh, or maybe you're not planning to upgrade at all. Um, that could also be the case. But it'd be interesting to see um, what your plans are uh, in terms of uh, in terms of upgrading, and of course, um, you know, we'd be happy to to help you with um, with those uh, as much as we can. But uh, thank you for uh, for participating here. I'll just give this a few more seconds, and then I'll close the poll and share the results, of course. Great, thanks very much. I'm just going to close this now. Okay, um, so it looks like the, a majority of you are looking into upgrading in the near future, which is nice to see, of course. And then it's a little bit spread across um, longer term and no uh, no specific plans yet. Um, but this is good to see. Thanks very much for, uh, for your feedback here. Uh, I'm just going to hide this again and get back to the slide. Yeah, I think we have a minute or two um, to answer <clears throat> maybe a, a question. Um, there's a question here from uh, Ravi. Uh, Christoph, hope you, you can help with that. And the question is whether there are any special considerations for GTID while upgrading from 5.6 to 5.7? Um, none that I know of. I, I've seen the GTID working really uh, nice and uh, reliable way uh, when repl replicating from uh, 5.6 to 5.7, so it can be uh, combined without any issues. It is compatible. Um, maybe some problems might happen if you try to do some uh, magic with the, uh, you know, with this uh, multi-source replication, but if you're upgrading, then there is there's not much magic around. So it shouldn't be a problem. OK. Um, great. Thanks very much, Christoph. I hope uh, that answered um, your question, Ravi. And uh, so we're just after the, after the hour. So we're, um, we're just um, over the, the time that we had for today's webinar. Um, so thanks, Christoph, for the presentation today. Uh, thank you. And thanks to everyone who joined us and for your participation. Uh, you can find my contact details here on this last slide, jj at severalnines.com, if you have any follow-up questions. And of course, you can always visit us on our website as well. We will have a new webinar uh, at the beginning of April. Uh, so look out for uh, an invitation for that. And we will communicate the, um, uh, the replay information for today's webinar within the, the next two days. So there will be an email and a blog about that. So look out for those as well. And for those of you who are going to Pocona Live in April, um, we look forward to seeing you there. Uh, feel free to um, come hello, uh, come and <laughs> come and say hello. We'll be able to. Uh, we'll be happy to talk to you. So thanks very much for today. Uh, have a good rest of um, of the day, and a good week. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.